Hey guys, it's me, Darton Man here, and I'm going to be talking about another redstone component today, and that is the redstone repeater. And we're going to use this the same set of stuff that we put in in the first episode. So we're going to extend out this line. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, move 13, 14, 15. As you can see, we do still get power here, but if we put one more, so this is the 16th block right here, we don't get any power. And that's where this repeater comes in. It does exactly what you think it does. It repeats the uh, the power. So we can extend it out again all the way out to 15. And you can see it does work. But if we put one more in, it doesn't work again. So what do we do? Well, we can put in another repeater and we can keep on going. And you can do this as far as you want as long as the chunks are loaded. I don't think redstone works outside of the loaded chunks. Uh, I don't know how it works on bedrock, but I, admittedly, I haven't made a really long line of redstone, and I haven't tried to run things with me not there, but I would imagine that since it's not loaded, it doesn't work. That would make the most sense. So that's how, that's how the repeater works, but that's not all the repeater can do. The repeater does lots of amazing, amazing, amazing things. So the repeater can also pick up a signal from below, just like this, uh, because it's actually powering this block, or this grass block here. This repeater is picking up the signal from that. I'm going to set the time to zero. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's how that works. If we were to break this block, obviously it doesn't work. And if we were to use a transparent block, such as glass, the repeater also will not pick up the signal. And I don't think, okay. So redstone does go down glass. It doesn't do that in Java, but it does here. Okay. So, yeah. So the repeater won't pick it up through a transparent block. But if it's a solid block, it does pick up the signal just like that. Another thing about the comparators is that they do actually have a delay. So, for example, if I set this here, this is, okay, this is, okay, let me show This is one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. There are ten ticks in one second. So... This is a one second delay, so when I pull this lever, it'll take about a second until it pulls back, and now it'll take about a second before it pushes up. So that's what the repeater does. Uh, it does have another functionality called a locking, or at least it I think it does. Yep, there we go. Uh, so basically what this does is when we, oh, well, I need it, okay. <laughs> what this does, so with this pulled, if we unpower this side, this does actually stay on because it's locked. And then this one's taking power from this one. So it'll actually stay on until I pull this lever, and then it'll turn off. Uh, but now, so now that it's locked off, if I pull this one, it will not turn on until I pull this lever. So, yeah, that's that's really something that people don't really use very often. Uh it could maybe be useful in some circumstances, and maybe we'll get to that uh, down the road, and, and maybe we won't. Uh, I don't know. I've personally never really used the locking mechanism, but it is it is a thing. It does exist, and it, it could be useful somehow. So those are the things that repeaters can do. Uh, oh, and there's one more thing, because I forgot. Um, redstone repeaters can power blocks so that redstone on top, for example, can be powered. You can, if a repeater is powering a block, it also powers the ones beside it. So you can do that. And you can also take a repeater from a block with a repeater onto it, as well as from a block with redstone going into it. So I think I covered everything there is to know about repeaters there. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys did learn something today. If not, that's unfortunate, but it's okay, it happens. Uh, and if you did like this, please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.